right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back with another Collections, Card Shops, and Collectors video, a series we're bringing to you highlighting the best the hobby has to offer. Today, that is no exception. We are going to be here with one of my favorite collectors in the entire hobby, my main man, Cruz. Cruz, how are you? I'm good. Thank you, Ryan, for having me on. I'm really excited. It's going to be fun. This is uh, this will be one I think you guys will really enjoy. So, Cruz, uh, first off, how, how old are you? I'm 13 years old, and uh, I've been doing this for a little while. Um, What's a little while? So when did, let's let's start right there. When did you uh, when did you first get into when did you first get into like cards? So I got into cards whenever I was about six. Um, so I started whenever I was about six, and um, I started with my mom showing me uh, Disney cards, and she was like, she's like, cause she collected cards whenever she was younger, and my dad collected also. So I, um, I would uh, collect Disney cards and like just random cards, like, you know, like stuff like that. And, uh, cause I wasn't big into sports whenever I was six. Um, but then I started getting into sports and I was collecting Disney, but then I started, you know, kind of abandoning Disney, and then I started getting into basketball. I did basketball for a little while, and I got into football, and the uh, rest is history, and now I do basketball and football, and uh, I love cards, and yeah. So, <clears throat> when you started, did, were you going to, like, we've asked a couple different people. Some go to, like, Walmart and Target, some go to their local card store, some do eBay. When you first started, like, getting into sports cards, where did you start? Like, where was your first couple purchases? Um, so... I probably, my first ever for sports cards would probably just be like on eBay or Target um, because I remember I ripped one box. It was a Clear Vision basketball hobby box. Um, I ripped that box and I pulled a Chris Paul autograph. I thought it was the, it, it, it's, I still have it. I'll, I'll never get rid of that one. Um, it's really cool. Uh, because like otters and that are really rare and I got I was so excited and then I dropped the card and it's a little messed up but you know I was little but I pulled I got that one and I think I got that box from eBay because you can't get that at Target and then I also ripped some boxes uh quite often um whenever just from Target or Walmart and stuff like that so, <clears throat> so you've been in a little while you said you mostly do basketball and football like what kind of like what, what teams, what players, what kind of stuff do you collect now? Um, I love to collect, you know, really good guys like Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees. Um, and then I also love to collect the goats like Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, Brady. Yeah. And, uh, but my PCs are Dwayne Wade and uh, Terrence Maxey because Dwayne Wade is, has, I met him a couple times. He's always been really, really good to me, and he's a great guy. And Maxi, I've never met Maxi, but I, I just really like how he plays, and I think he's like really underrated, um, and I think he's gonna be really, really good. So I love uh, watching Maxi, and I'm a UK fan and an Oklahoma mm -hmm. fan, so I like to collect him. So Maxi is because he's a UK boy. Yeah, and I just love the way he plays, and I just think he's a great player. Very cool. Um, so, so you said you like in terms of like what you buy and sell and trade. That's like the goats and that kind of stuff. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah, I try to get that stuff because I just don't think it's. I think it's safe. I think it's really safe and like it's not going to go down a whole lot. So. I can't argue with that. My man knows what he's doing. Um, so we we talked about this. We were at the show this weekend in in Nashville, and somebody came up and said, hey, you know, your crews, I follow you on, on YouTube and asked to take a picture. As, you know, as a younger collector or someone that's, you know, 13 and puts out a lot of, a lot of cool content, what's it like, uh, tell, you know, tell the listeners what it's like when somebody comes up and says, you know, hey, I follow you, can, can we take a picture? Yeah, it's, I think it's really cool. Um, you know, like, just to have people come up to me, it's, I just, I, I think it's so cool. Um, I, you know, it, it's just kind of, it's, it's so much fun uh, to, to like have people who know who I am. So, a funny story, I went to the trampoline park the other day, like a couple of weeks ago, and I went there and a kid, I was playing dodgeball, and a kid like knew who I was 
and it was it was, it was crazy. I was like, he knows who I was with my friends, and they're like, and they're like, Cruz, you're famous. It it was so funny. Um, I just you know, it's fun. That's awesome. Now, uh, so many people don't know, but you and I actually met at the national. Yeah. Um, so the national, it, you, we we saw each other there this year as well. How many uh, how many of those have you been to? I have been to three: uh, Cleveland, Chicago, and Chicago. Favorite car show you've ever been to? For sure. For sure, gotta be. Very cool. Um, so we want to. I want to get into this, right? So we asked Cruz to get his top five cards, and we're gonna show them and then and talk about them. So first one, Le, LeBron 101. If you want to show that. So uh, tell us a little bit about this one. Um. So this one. It was Christmas in 2017 or 18, and I had ripped a couple of Ascension boxes, and I, it was Christmas, and I ripped one, and I pulled a one of one LeBron. And at the time, my collection wasn't all that, so I, uh, I, I was, like, I was stunned. I was, I was in shock, and I'll never forget this card and whenever I pulled it, it was my bur first like real like big card and I thought it was it was crazy um it was just such a crazy pull and then I put it on eBay for like 800 bucks and it didn't sell and I'm so thankful it didn't sell because if I didn't have this it'd be it'd be pretty tough but you know so I you love did that pull card. that I did pull is it. that is do you think to this day that's the biggest card you've ever pulled biggest card I've ever pulled um yeah, I, that or my Joe Burrow Cosmic, uh, that it, one of those. Very cool. All right, so what's uh, what's the next card? So this one is one I really like. It's hard to it's hard to see it under unless you're under like a really nice light, but <clears throat> it is a gold vinyl CD Lamb Prism Draft Fix. So so, so why this card? I really like this card because number one, it's a gold vinyl. Gold vinyls are so cool. Um, and I'm a big Oklahoma fan, big CD fan, big Oklahoma fan, as I said. Um, so Prism draft picks and stuff is cool for me because I like to collect all the OU guys, just like you like to collect all the Ohio State guys. Yeah. Um, so I try to get rare stuff of like CD, Kyler, from that kind of stuff. And this one I actually got from Jimmy Kentucky Basketball Cards. Um, in a trade, I traded him. I'm a UK fan too, but I had to give up some UK stuff, and I got and he gave me the uh, CD Lamb numbered one out of five gold vinyl, and I'm uh, I'm really excited. He looks I, good. I was like I was really excited about this one. It's a really cool card. Yeah, he looks good. All right, what uh what about number three here? Number three is this Dwayne Wade Kaboom. This one's really cool for me because I'm a big Dwayne Wade fan, as I said. And you know, kabooms are—they're so cool. Like the the shine on them, uh, especially on this one, the Crown Royale from this year. They're they're I love the kabooms. I'd like to go after, try to get some more uh, Dwayne Wade kabooms or any kabooms because they're just so cool. And Dwayne Wade's my favorite player, so this one's got to be in the top five. D Wade kaboom top five. All right, I agree with you on kabooms. <clears throat> We've talked about that before a little bit before we started, but. Yeah. Uh, Kaboom's going to be one of that inserts from the you know this time period yeah. that I think does something long term. So yeah. that's pretty cool. All right, now before we move on, which one of these is like your favorite favorite? Let's show your favorite favorite last. My favorite yeah. favorite between these two, because I think I know what your answer is. Which one of those are you keeping first? I don't know. That's a really tough question. Really, you think it's that tough? It I, is. Knowing you and the conversation we had, I'm surprised you said that. But which one? Which one are we showing next? We're gonna go with the LeBron show yeah. next. So this one, I got this one from Matt Sports Cards here. Matt Fang? Yeah. We actually had him on a recent episode. Yeah. He's a good dude. So uh, I, I had been looking for one of these for just a LeBron auto um, for a while, and I couldn't find one for a good price. And I finally found one. Somebody sent it to me, and I like saw it, and we worked out. It was one of my quickest deals ever. Um, cause I just, I wanted this card really badly and I got it and it's, it's a really cool card. Um, BGS 910 LeBron Auto. I mean, you can't go wrong with a LeBron Auto and, uh, it's, it's a really cool one. Um, 
pretty good, pretty good grade on it uh, for like a shiny card from 2008. Yeah, can't go wrong. Like you said, just can't go wrong with LeBron. It's yeah. uh, <clears throat> you mentioned collecting goats. It's one of those things. If the time ever comes to move it, it's something everybody wants. It's uh, yeah, can't go wrong with LeBron. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> you showed this to me at the national. I did. I actually did not know the card existed um, until Cruz brought it up. It's definitely one of those cards. I uh, I'm hopeful one day I can get my get one for myself, but Cruz, why don't you uh, show this and talk a little bit about this one, how this one worked out. So this one is a pretty cool one. Um, I went to Nationals this year um, in Chicago, and I I was looking for a Brady Auto because I, or a Jordan Auto because I have, um, I have LeBron and I've got Kobe, so I'm like, I gotta get Brady and Jordan. Haven't got the Jordan yet, but hopefully soon. Um, so the Brady, I was walking around and I couldn't find it. Um, I couldn't find one I really liked or one for a really good price. Um, so I was walking around and I went to a booth, the alt booth, um, and they had this in their display case. And I, I was looking for an immaculate one, um, but this one I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, like, there, it, I love a pe impeccable, um, and the artwork on the impeccable cards is like, it's, ah. yeah, the photo is amazing. Yeah, and it's from Super Bowl, which is, I mean, Super Bowl, I mean, Brady's, really cool. Brady's done a couple of those. Yeah. But yeah, I think the photo is what really makes this card cool. Yeah. It's on card auto, it's out of five, him holding the Lombardi trophy, yeah. it's just, uh, uh, we talked about this before. We actually, when we interviewed Matt, we talked about, uh, like, I have a Brady Immaculate Moments auto. Mm -hmm. And it's cool because you can trace that back to a particular yeah. game in time. Yeah. It's not just like a, like, you have no idea when this LeBron mm -hmm. game is, but this, you know when Brady won that Super Bowl. Yeah, so it's the Falcons it just, one, actually. Yeah, it just, it, it's a, it's a cool piece. I it's the Falcons one. Um, so very cool. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And it's out of five. It's really rare. And I love on-card autos, so. Can't go wrong with on-card autos. Yeah. Peckable Brady. All right, so I think you mentioned it, but what's uh, what's, what's kind of like next on your like want to acquire list? Jordan Auto. Um, I, I, I really wanted Jordan Auto. I have been wanting one for a little while. Um, I wish I would have got one earlier because they were, you know, they were not not as much as they are now. But uh, we're we're trying to get one, um, and hopefully we can get one soon. Uh, on card Auto. Got to be on card. Um, it can be UNC or. Uh, Bulls, but what I'm going to try to do is get a UNC and you know, I might try to work my way up to a Bulls um, But we got to start somewhere, you know, yep. whether that be Bulls or whether it be UNC We can start with the Bulls and get to a better Bulls or we can start with UNC and get to a better UNC and then get to a Bulls or whatever. Yep. Yep um, Yeah, that's great. I, I didn't get a Jordan Bulls auto for a while. I just uh, I had one when I was when I was a little bit younger Got rid of it. Never ended up getting one. I just recently got one, and I uh, think that's a, that's a good answer for uh, what what's next in the list. But a um, couple more questions. You uh, you've done this for a little while now. You're super successful at it, especially at a, at such a young age. Do you think this is something? Have you thought about it at all? If this is something you want to you know continue doing and maybe want to do later in life? Have you given that much thought? Um, I I mean, I my thing is like. It's so fun and so addicting. Why would I, like, I don't know how I could stop. That's the thing. It's like, I don't know how I could stop. Uh, so if I do become an NBA player or an NFL player, you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll collect, on, I'll collect like AJ Dillon does. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'll ever stop because it's, it's just so much fun. And, uh, you know, and if I don't become an NBA player, an NFL player, or a, on ESPN, I, will, I would love to do this because it's just so much fun. It's funny. We talked to Cruz's parents before we started, or we talked to them yesterday, and they had mentioned that one of the things, you know, Cruz's goals was to, was to be an NFL player or an NBA player or to be a broadcaster. So it's, uh, it's just funny to hear him talk about it. But that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah. I think you could definitely do it. We, we talked about it before on Car Talk that, um, you know, 10 years from now or 15 years from now when we're all back at the national um, a lot of us are are older cruz will uh cruz will be there running the national he's uh way 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 ahead of his time so with that right there's a lot of young collectors getting into it now a lot of people you're friends with 
um, what kind of advice would you give someone, right? You've, you've learned a lot in seven years, right? We talked about this um, a little bit ago that like, you know, two years ago, your best card was a Billy Sims auto. Yeah. Now you've got cards a lot of older collectors wish they had. Um, what kind of advice would you give to someone that's younger, that's just starting out, knowing what you know now? Yeah, I mean, one thing is it just takes time. Um, you're not gonna you're not gonna start and have a crazy collection. I started with Disney cards and then I worked up and I got you know, I just kept getting better. Three or four years ago I had a Billy Sims Roger Craig dual auto and that was my best card at the time. Um, so you know it takes time, um, and it takes it takes work, but if you put in the work and you put in the time and you you know if if you to be able to do this you really got to love it you know if, if you don't love doing cards you can't you're not going to be successful because it's cards are about it, it's a hobby you know it's not um it's it, it doesn't have to be the most serious thing ever like it's it is but you want to enjoy it's, it. it's for fun yeah. you know like it's yeah at the end of the day we collect these cards like i said I, I always tell people we'd collect them even if they were worth nothing yeah right i'd still have interest in you know tom brady autos if they weren't worth anything at yeah. all they just happen to be worth something yeah so wisdom uh well beyond his years so cruz i appreciate you coming on here but before we let you go where can people find you you can find me on instagram and youtube at cruz's card stop um kind of a random name but you know, I just thought whenever, I got it a couple years ago, and I was like, Cruz's Card Stop. I, w I was like, well, I was trying to think of a name. I was like, Cruz's Cards, that, but that's, you know, that's a bunch of people probably have that name. Um, so I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say you, because I started with YouTube, and I'm like, you stop, you watch my videos, and they're all about cards. So Cruz's Card Stop. So, you know. Cruise card stuff, go check me out. And yeah, thank you so much for having me on, Ryan. He, he closed <coughs> he closed it out for us. My man, like I said, is way ahead of his years. Appreciate you coming on here. Hopefully uh, some of our listeners learned a couple things from the man, Cruz himself. So Cruz, appreciate you coming on. Thank you so as, much. As always, it's a pleasure. That is all we got for now, guys. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>